today, you ask? Bill, why the heck are you so obsessed with yourself? Who the heck is Vivian Mayer? Contacts G1? I thought this was- Yeah, 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 we'll get there. We're looking at HP5 at 12.50 today. Why? Because why not? Well, actually, I was watching a Granny Days video the other day and he just casually mentioned that he likes to shoot 12 or likes to shoot HP, HP5 at 12.50. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. Because why not? It's my show, I make the rules. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, close the door. Whoop. If you were like, damn, Dill, those photos suck. You were right, they do suck. They're not very good. There's a few reasons. Um, 90 mil, the lens. Not used to that focal length whatsoever. I shoot 35 or 21. 90 is very, very tight. It's a portrait lens. Probably the least desirable lens for a G system. I digress. I also challenged myself to not leave my apartment. I, I know how I operate and I know if I just went out into the world with this camera, I would have taken the easy shots. The easy shots for a 90 mil, right? And I wouldn't have really learned anything. I've been really enjoying taking self portraits lately for these videos. And so I decided to challenge myself to not leave my apartment for an entire roll of film and mainly shoot self-portraits or Jane. That was hard. That was really, really hard to do. It was a very difficult thing to do. And when I look at the photos, I too was like, Dill, these suck. What are you doing? And so I said, let's just do it again, shall we? But first, I want to do some research. And so I googled self-portrait photographers and one of the first hits was a woman, woman named Vivian Mayer. Do you know who that is? I didn't know who that was until literally yesterday. And with Vivian being my mother's name and a name that I actually really like, or not actually, I do really like it. I hate the word actually. Moving on. I clicked it and it went straight to her black and white. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I clicked it and it went straight to her black and white self-portraits and I was totally enamored. Um, pretty much embarrassed that I didn't know her beforehand. She's incredible, like absolutely incredible. Anyways, I'm not gonna talk about her too much because I just learned who she is and I don't know much about her, honestly. I just looked at her black and white self-portraits. I'm repeating myself. Anyways, she was masterful at placing herself within her scenes from behind her own camera, whether that was her own reflections or my personal favorites are her shadow work. She'd find a shadow of herself, place it within her scene, and build the scene around that. And I think that's incredible. I have taken a lot of, I've started to take a lot of self-portraits, but I've always taken photos of my reflections and, or my shadows, I mean. I'm not really sure why I did that, but I, uh, I do do that. And now that I've seen her work, I am, yeah, like I said, enamored and definitely want to continue to pursue this style a little bit more. So yeah, that's Vivian Mayer. I hope you learned something. And um, now let's take a look at my photos of me. You guys know the categories. Let's go. It's HP5. We all knew it was gonna be good, or maybe you didn't. I knew it was gonna be good. Well, at least I thought it was gonna be good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it, and honestly, it holds up so well. Let's go with um, one and two, 12. And I'm back with some more stars. Good, good film, good scans. What do you want from me? You knew it was gonna be good. Six stars.
All right, obviously you lose some sharpness when you're pushing film this hard from 400, which is box speed to 1250, developing it for like 17 minutes or something, 16, 17, that doesn't really matter. You're definitely gonna lose some sharpness, even with the wonderful Zeiss and Contax G1. I like it though. I think the fall off is really natural. It's not, it's good. It's good. It's good. I like it. Not too sharp, not too not sharp. Yeah, not sharp. I'll say it again. Eight stars? Hey, I remembered that time. One more category. One more. finally got some freaking grain. I like grain. Do you guys like grain? I love grain. It's just nice. It's nice to look at. You know, it's nice and soft. It's kind of want to lie down on it. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyways, 10 stars. What'd you guys think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I, uh, I wanted to know the limits of HP5. It's going to be my go-to film this year. It is my go-to film this year, outside of this stuff. I enjoy it. Definitely going to shoot it again when needed, or even if just I want to, to be honest with you. I liked going outside on the sunny day with 1250 rating is, is difficult, um, just because you lose a lot of ability within your, you're basically stopped down at 22 the whole time, F22, which is fine for me. I usually, I like to shoot very stopped down and have lots of depth of field and lots of things in focus or sharp-ish, anyway, I, whatever. I like it. It's good stuff. I enjoy it. I will definitely do it again. Um, oh, sorry. As I was saying, difficult to shoot outside, but a lot easier to shoot inside. Um, I was still on a tripod for a good reason. You could get away with hand holding this if you went down to like, you know, F2.8 or F4 or whatever, if you wanted to do that. If you want to do that, do that. I'm going to do that. Cool? Cool. Transition. All right. And now the question you've all been waiting for. The question you asked me. Are self-portraits vain? Honestly, I think it comes down to intentions. But I do believe the best self-portraits or the ones that speak to me are definitely veiled in vanity. I think in order to take good self-portraits, in order to take it seriously, you need to be a bit vain. Does that make sense to you guys? It makes sense in my head. I don't really know how to explain that. It's just like, it, it's, if you're not at least a little bit vain, you're taking photos of yourself, you're not going to take that seriously, naturally, right? And it's not going to translate into anything good because the intentions are just blah but if you love yourself a little bit or a lot or too much you're probably going to be able to get a good photo out of it because you care about how you look to others and that's the intention of what you're doing does that make sense i don't know what am i doing class time over thank you love you Bye. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>